Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm about to start the first print after making this little makeshift straightener support here. So hopefully this doesn't add too much drag on the feed. This was the original Bowden tube that came with this Creality printer. A while ago, uh, I had replaced the Bowden tube with um, an upgraded version from Capricorn. It's a tighter diameter and uh, it also came with some other higher quality fittings and stuff. I, I replaced the, uh, the plastic um, assembly up there with a full metal feed assembly and also did the um, the feed sensor too. Actually, I did that at a separate time. That wasn't from the same place, but you know, did did some upgrades to it. So I had this Bowden tube lying around. I saved it, and I had to use a, a length of wire to straighten it out because it had a uh, a pre curved form to it. Um. So we're going to see if this can prevent the filament from uh, deforming and breaking while it's not in use. Because what happens is as the spool gets used up, which you can kind of see it partially there in the, uh, on the side of the screen, as you use more and more filament, you get down to the filament that's wound more tightly around the spool it's it's wound at a smaller diameter and so when you have a, a length of it extended out from the spool over time that the set in the form natural curvature that it, it wants to go back to is always putting tension on the line and it's going to find the weakest point it's going to find the weakest point in the filament and start to apply force to it and it's going to slowly bend, 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 bend until it breaks. So hopefully this can keep it from uh, failing at a certain point. If, uh, if it has some support, it's, you know, internally inside that tube, you know, it's still going to want to reset to that set curve. We'll see if, if there are any issues with the print using this method here. And, um, you know, I, I've got to do a test with something that's full height eventually. See, see what happens when the, uh, when the Z axis is at its maximum. But for now, we'll just do a, a small part. It's got to warm up before it starts. So we'll turn the camera back on once it's actually begun to print. Well, so far so good. As, as it's being fed, you know, there's a, a little bit of drag on this line because the, the Bowden tube is not perfectly straight. There, there are a few little wiggles and kinks in there. That means there's going to be rubbing. So it gets pulled up against the feed sensor there, which is fine because the filament just slides fairly effortlessly inside the PTFE tubing, which is what that, that tube is made out of, PTFE polytetrafluoral ethylene I think I mispronounced it but uh, so every once in a while when it when the feed backs off you could you can see the uh, the tube also backs up as well because you know sometimes to prevent any extra drippage or application of plastic when the uh, the, the end the hot end has to move uh, it, it backs off the filament so that it prevents it from releasing any more filament and then you'll you'll see that tube back off a little bit as well and then as it continues to feed again then it'll go up against the feed sensor there but um, it's not going to do that anytime soon because it's putting down a very large raft right now so it's it's just going to keep feeding for a while so i'm not going to stand here with the camera waiting for that to happen